Now then YouTube, I'm the Tough Man and welcome back to some more Liverpool Simulated Manager Mode. Guys, um, in the last episode we had a terrible, terrible time of it, an absolute terrible time of it. And uh, I did say, I, I, you know, I'm out of luck, I'm out of ideas, I don't know who to buy. Uh, well, I, you know, I know that I need better players but I just don't know how... This squad isn't doing a better job. Maybe the, the the midfield's not good enough. Maybe I just don't know what it is. But I'm at a loss as to how to deal with this now. Because I, I really don't know what I'm meant to do. Um, I'm just going to continue though and see what happens. I've got no backup anymore for Daniel Sturridge apparently. Really? Apparently so. Um, so yeah, that's just happened. I thought he had more people than this. Fair enough. Probably when I sold them all in the great clear out of 62. Right, we need a decent player. I'm going to put Coutinho out there. I'm going to put Gerard there. Lalana. I think Markovic I'm going to put on that side this time. Skirtle, of course, is going to have to come off. Fernandez. Oh, God. This isn't going to go down well at all. They're having a terrible time of injuries and sending offs and all sorts going on here. Um, Nunez, though, I mean, is doing all right. He's improving. He's definitely improving. <sighs> Let's just hope for the best, don't we, guys? Just got to hope for the best because I can't see his. I just cannot see his improving at all in the future. I can't see his improving at all in the future. I I went and got a better back line, but. It just doesn't seem to be doing the job for me at the moment. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Probably going to get sacked in this episode. <laughs> oh, we actually won. Holy fuck. Markovic on the left-hand side. Edison Cavani uh, scoring for City. But it wasn't enough. We actually walked away with a win, which is highly surprising. And here we go. We've got the fucking thingy again. I'm just going to go straight to the match and just try to get the match done. Rather than trying to look at the fucking... For some reason, it's it's stopping. And it's like taking ages to load up. Oh, it's our youth squads. Our youth academy there. Need to wait for May for him. He's dropped down, Victor de Menzes. So I'm probably going to be releasing that youth player. Anybody who doesn't have a potential in the 90s, I don't want. Because, plainly because... Uh, the team, you know, the, I've got some really good young players coming in, and I want that high, high level constantly coming in. Completed the suspension now. Vitesse today. Come on now, Liverpool. We need this. Look at that. When you play on a Thursday, you don't play on a Saturday. You play on a Sunday or a Monday. Fucking useless game. Liverpool backs man. I hope so. We've got an away game here. I very much doubt that I'm going to get any fucking chance here. Um, oh, bugger off now. I want to sort my squad out. Yeah. I'm going to put Divock in there for today. No, you know what? No. Raheem Sterling does play as a striker, though. He can play as a striker. They've got him as an actual right winger here, which is ridiculous. There's an actual right winger. Just out and out. Which is not right at all. Uh, no, you know what? I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave him there. Right, Coutinho Lovren's gonna come out for Varane. Laporte, Alaba, Fernandez is back. This is literally the best squad I can put out. 83, 83, 83, 80. This is a quality back line. I don't give a fuck what FIFA says. That is a quality back line. 83, 82, 82, 79. Fair enough for Markovic. But uh, can Coutinho play on the left? Out of interest. He can. Fantastic. Because Markovic can play on the right. Balotelli. That's a good fucking squad, guys. That is a good squad. I mean, you can get better players, you know what I mean? 86 rateds and stuff like that going upwards from there. But that is a good squad. That is a real good squad. And I'm hoping that it's going to come uh, come good for us. We need this win. Look at us. We are so close in that group of everybody there. So, Vitesse away from home. Are we going to have any luck? 
ask the question. It's going to be a live game, of course. And I'm going to commentate over it. Come on now, Liverpool. We've got one of the best squads in this. Balotelli is fucking injured. Are you having a laugh? Dodd has fucking scored. It's going from bad to worse here. And he always likes to do this. We have one good game and then everything fucking shit breaks loose. Dowd has scored again, but Origi brings one back. Can we get another one? We need it. We need it. Come on now, Liverpool. It doesn't look like it. No, 2-1 in the end. Ugh. The fucking squad that we're against isn't even that good. It's Vitesse, for fuck's sake. Oh, great. Fucking fantastic. I've lost the entire lot of my front line now. The entire lot of my front line is gone. He wants to sit out the next... I haven't got fucking anybody left. <laughs> I have... I fucking ain't got anybody. Nunez, you're going up front, fella. Fuck it, I've had enough now, to be quite honest. Fuck it. I'm sick to death of fighting against this game. So we're just going to enjoy the shit while we've got it. Coutinho, Asaid is going to come on. Henderson... Melanda, Sousa, Mankia. Basically, the entire second squad is going to be playing this game today. Scuff it, eating the curds and whey. Oh, man. Fucking Balotelli. The thing is that he was injured, but he was still playing. If you'd done your collateral fucking ligament, you would not be wandering around on the pitch trying to fucking score a goal, would you? You will be writhing around in pain, saying, Fuck me, ref. Fuck me, get me off of this fucking pitch, please. That's what I would be saying at that point in time. At this point in time, we're away against West Brom. Our full second squad is out. And we drew one all. Sessegnon. Sessegnon. Uh, got injured. We drew one all. We are back up to... We, well, we're up to, seven, uh, we're up to seventh. And fourth place is only 19 points. This fucking league is close as fuck. Holy shit, I didn't realise it was actually that close. I thought it was just getting lower and lower in the fucking, uh, in the leagues. Barini, of course, <laughs> has left. Could you come back now, please, Barini? Barini, please. If you don't mind. It's Divock's turn, along with Sterling. Timo's going to come on. Adam Lallana. Gerard. Markovic. Fernandez. Fucking Skirtle, stop it, being a fucking dick. Varane, Alaba, whoops, and the Minulet. Skirtle constantly getting sent off. Balotelli injured, Sturridge is injured, fucking Skirtle. He's been a dick cheese. We need a new forward, guys. We need a new forward. If I manage to survive, then I'm going to get a new forward. Unbelievable. Right, simulate this game. Sunderland at home. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, they've had an impressive result there against Everton. 1-0. One 1-0. Nil. One nil. And there was no fucking Barina at all in the squad anywhere. So, nice to see you've got first team football where you've gone. 1-0, three points, that's fantastic stuff. And we're back up to sixth now. Only three points behind fourth place, Arsenal. Wow, this is a low scoring, well, low points for everybody here at the moment, uh, Premier League. How unsettled is Ivanovic at Chelsea? Well, it's not Ivanovic that I'm after. It's just anybody who can fucking score. Lambert returns to face former club Liverpool. Welcoming Sunderland for their league game. Oh, he fucked off to Sunderland as well, did he? We've got Norwich coming up today, guys. 22nd of November. We're, we're fair getting through the season again. We're nearly in December. Um, recent slip in signed. Fuck you. I've just, you've said that twice now. You are really beginning to get my tits when you say shit like that. I'm trying my best. I went to a 4 4 2 and suddenly my results are picking up a little bit. Oh, we've got a fucking offer here from England. Wow. Yeah, I'm doing shit in the league. So, of course, I'm going to fucking go to, a, you know, go to England. No, you're alright. It's just literally. This one, guys. No internationals. So. Asaidi. Asaidi. So we want him there. Um, Divock and Sterling are going to have to stay there, whether I like it or not. Uh, apart from that, I think we're all right. I think we're all right, guys. 
we need to we need to we've had a couple of wins now on the bounce we need to carry this on we need to keep going it's an away game against Norwich now what's the result going to be nil nil Nathan Redmond getting injured in the process none of our guys getting injured which is a, a plus I suppose but uh, no goals but non conceded as well that's a good thing Daniel Sturridge is to return from injury Thank fuck for that, because we need a striker back. Holy shit. I don't think we've done a bad job. To say that we've got no fucking strikers, we've, we've not done a bad job, guys. We've got Burnley now in today's episode. We've also got... Oh, fuck me. Oh, it's getting sacked in the morning. I did. I did. I was sixth in the league. I was still in the European League. I don't believe it. Prematurely sacked, guys. The board shot the load way too fucking soon. Premature bastards. So what can I say? Look at that. I mean, that's got to be the worst thing you've ever seen. You are shit. They might as well stamp that on it. I've said it before. They might as well stamp fucking you are shit all over the bastard contract. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. End of the series. I ran out of ideas. I couldn't do anything. What can I say? You know, we did, we did do pretty shit, but I was bringing it back. I was three points out of the fucking Champions League spots. You know what I mean? That... They expected way too much of me at the start of the season. They wanted me to win the league, which is ridiculous. And I, I've literally, I was in the, I was in the Champions League. We finished the fourth the season before, and they, well, we finished second the season before. Yet they said to me, just qualify for the European champ, you know, the European Cup, Champions League. So you know that's fair enough. I finished fifth, the, the, that season, and then suddenly they want me to win the league. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But they wanted me to win everything. I couldn't have done that. I couldn't have done that. So, the Italian job, anybody? <laughs> Transfer budget of 3 million, wage budget of 270k. They are 24th. Are you kidding me? So they got, they got, uh, well, I'm just going to say yes to that one. Fuck it. Doesn't mean I'm going to be playing it, guys, because I'm going to end this episode right here. Um,. So that's it for Liverpool Simulated Manager Mode, guys. I couldn't, for the life in me, do anything to stop that. I couldn't have done anything to stop that. It's such a shame. Look, they're way down there at 24th. That's absolute madness. Probably because of shit. <laughs> Sorry, but they are. I feel dejected now, guys. I feel like... I feel robbed. I feel robbed. I feel like I'm robbing you guys. I'm only 14 episodes into this simulated career mode and it's gone. You know, there's no simulated career mode left. So, what to do now? Well, that's what the comment section's there for, guys. Go ahead, put in the comment section what you would like to see me do in FIFA Next. It's going to be no career mode. I'm not doing a career mode, you know, like a playing career mode. It's going to be some sort of simulated manager mode or... Something else, just something for you guys I would like to do. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the end of this episode and the end of this series. Until next time, I've been the Tough Man. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, stay safe.